society and people that are low down in society. If you look at both of those, how they treat people who are seen as high up and people who are seen as low down, that's going to reflect who they are, not what the people around them are. The second part, you need to see how someone operates on a 24 hour basis from start to finish, how they are throughout the whole day, not little moments that you see them. How do they treat everybody they come in contact with? How do they respond to everything that goes on? That's where you'll gauge someone. That's where you'll understand who someone really is. And again, it comes back to the start. Whenever I'm out there and I'm doing stuff that's different, that's challenging, whenever more stuff on top of it happens, I don't say, well, this happened and this is already difficult, so now I, I go change what I'm doing. Fuck no. At those moments, whenever that happens, you have to now battle up again. You have to push forward. Because the end of what you're going through is coming very shortly. The end of that day is going to be there shortly. There's no time to go back and sidestep, etc. You've got to keep handling and moving with the challenges. And that's going to be with everything. When you deal with a difficult person. Whenever somebody doesn't show up. Whenever you drove for two hours and it was a waste of time. All those things are going to happen. And how you respond to those is what will determine your destination. There's no time to get caught up in the worries of other people. They're not going to be living your whole life with you. You have to focus on where you want to go. What is the destination? And remember, there's nothing more valuable than who you are. When people think of you, what do they think of? Are you someone that always shows up? Someone who pushes further than anyone else? Someone who yields phenomenal results? The person that everyone around them is operating at a phenomenal level. If that's not you, then you're not going to be seen as the go-to person. You're not going to get the opportunities that other people look like they get. Because it takes a hell of a work ethic, a even higher standard, and an all-out grit and determination to maintain that type of level. And the reason that those people get good results, get opportunities, and seem happy, is because whenever you do that and you get those results and you keep that momentum, well then it's hard to be distracted by the bullshit that a lot of people get caught up in. I hope these two videos reach you well, help you well, and really ultimately step your game up.